Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today I wanted to share with you how to make this super cute little bunny head applique. Really small and quick pattern. I think it would be cute. You could even stitch on a face if you wanted to, or you could just use it as table confetti, so you can make a bunch of different colors and just have them laying around your house <laughs> for um, the holiday, or if someone likes rabbits. Or you could also, uh, the yarn hag Ryan over on YouTube, I'll link her below. She makes these wonderful little gift boxes where she puts themed things in there. If you made something like that for someone, you could make a bunch of these and just throw in the box just to be some, you know, cute confetti to put, put in there. So let's talk about what you need. First you're going to need some worsted away yarn in any color you'd like, a pair of scissors, an F crochet hook, which is a 3.75 millimeter, a yarn needle, and a stitch marker. Okay. So to start, you need to make a magic ring. And then you're going to put six single crochet in the magic ring. Pull the short tail of the magic ring to pull it tight. Now for row two, you're going to increase all the way around. So you'll have a total of 12 stitches at the end. So go into your first single crochet and make two single crochet in that first one. So there's two. And now place your stitch marker in the first one that you made. That'll be the beginning of your next round. So now we're going to increase in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So that was two. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My hole came a little loose, so I'm going to tighten that up real fast. Alright, so now I have twelve stitches all the way around my bunny head. Now, this last round, this next round, is the last round of the bunny head. So take your stitch marker out, and in the first stitch, increase. So put two single crochet in the first stitch. Alright, now put your stitch marker in the first single crochet that you made. So there's one, two. And in the next stitch, put one single crochet. So we're going to do increase one, increase one, all the way around. For a total of 18 stitches. So that was three. So now we do four and five. That's our increase. And then the sixth stitch goes in by itself. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Alright, so now you have 18 single crochet all the way around. That's the last round for the bunny head. Now we're going to be working on the ears. So remove your stitch marker. And then from this stitch, you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch you made. And that just kind of closes it up a little, makes it more of an actual circle. <laughs> and then from here, you're going to change, chain six. And now in the second chain from the hook, so here's one and two, put a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then in the next chain, a half double crochet. So yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and go through all three loops. And then in the next stitch, 
another half double crochet and in the next one another half double crochet so that's three half double crochets in a row and then in the last stitch a single crochet that's one ear and now to connect it back to the body you're going to want to slip stitch into the next stitch on the bunny head like that so now the ear is connected down to the head and now to start the second ear you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch on the head and then chain six Now we're going to repeat the same ear pattern. So in the second chain from the hook, single crochet. And then in the next three chains, do one half double crochet. And then in the last chain, do a single crochet. And now to attach the ear to the bunny's head, single crochet in the next stitch on the bunny's head. And then you can pull up your loop and snip your yarn. Finish off your stitch. And there's your bunny head. And then, of course, you'll weave in your ends. Or you can leave them if you want to sew it onto another project or item or something. So there's two bunnies. <laughs> this one looks a little bigger, but it's just because the yarn is uh, a little bit fluffier than this white was. But so now you can make a bunch of little bunny heads and either sell them on other projects or put them in Easter eggs for kids to find or put them in gifts for people or in cards, all kinds of things. But I just thought this was cute and simple little pattern. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up and share it and leave me some comments down below. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.